Hello everyone. I wanted to share with you um, a great find from Yard Sale. A telescope, yay! From Edu Science. Came with all the pieces that were needed to put it together. Unfortunately, the only thing that is missing is the um, the manual. So hopefully I'll be able to go online and download a PDF of the the actual manual. Um, right now it's a little small. The legs do raise up. Just gotta kind of lift these things up and then the legs will rise up. And I just thought this was a great find. A couple dollars, 25 bucks, something like that. Great in the store. This thing is about one hundred and twenty-five dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars, what have you. So um, that actually was a very good find, and um, we're looking forward to using it sometime next year. I guess when we get to see the the big moon again. <laughs> um, but hopefully we'll get a chance to to use it before then, just to look at the stars once we start um, studying astronomy a little bit more closely. Um, this will be very useful. So I thought I'd share that with you. Another great find was this microscope, and it does have the manual, <laughs> and it has all the pieces, all the pieces. It's a real microscope, not plastic, it's metal. So we're looking forward to being able to use this. comes with an additional eyepiece. Um, couple of these, I guess what do you call them, little storage cases, um, it also comes with a few slides, it has a bunch of empty slides here as well, let's see if I can get this out, okay, these are a few slides that have some things on them, insects, plants, and another one with insects, and then there are some blank glass slides. So these are going to be um, used along with some of these vials. Um, one says roach something. Ew. Gross. Um... <laughs> Um, I guess you just use these to collect different things. So, um, not sure what each piece is for, but I will learn what to use, how to use everything in here, and so will my students as we dig a little bit deeper into biology and different uh, subjects like that. We'll have this available to you, so I'm excited about this. Yay! Love garage sales. Okay, this is all in one video. Um, this is my library haul that I'd like to share with you some of the um, books that we will be digging into and, and reading. We've decided to do a author study on uh, Royal Doll and um, I got this book maybe about a week or two weeks ago from the Dollar Tree. This was a dollar so I thought it was perfect to go along with this and then what I did was went to the library and I picked up as many of them as I could find. We're actually reading now Fantastic Mr. Fox so the kids each have their copy, and um, we're doing it as a group. We're doing some group reading. So I picked up um, The Witches, James and the Giant Peach. I think I have another copy of this already. And um, The BFG, The Twist, The Twits, Matilda, um, another copy of Fantastic Mr. Fox. And this one is actually the movie. has um 
few pictures of the, the, the movie. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What else? There's a second copy of James and the Giant Peach. Okay, these are just um, other copies. And this one is Char Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. Okay, so we will be digging into these over the next few weeks. They typically finish a book about this size probably in a week's time. It really doesn't take long to uh, finish this book, to finish books of this uh, size. We actually go over them, we read them together, um, we answer comprehension questions, um, uh, we do vocabulary words, um, we do a reading response, they have a reading response journal that they um, document every time they read and um, if applicable we will do um, an arts and craft project surrounding a um, particular uh, book or topic um, as we're reading so they usually like I said finish a book um, this size probably in about a week's time so by next week we'll be done uh, with this book and finish up with some of the uh, comprehension questions. We also go on, whenever we're done reading a book, we go on the website uh, bookadventure.com and each of the children have a uh, account on Book Adventure where they log in and uh, they find the title <clears throat> of the book or the author of the book that they're reading and then they can take a quiz, a comprehension quiz. And uh, basically, they accumulate points for every quiz that they take that they pass, um, I think, an 80 or above. You accumulate points. Um, so that's a lot of fun for them. They love doing that. You can even create your own book list. You can keep track of all the books that you're reading. And um, it's just a lot of fun. I don't place a whole lot of emphasis on the grades. Um, from the comprehension test, some kids have test, test anxiety and so forth. As long as when we're going through the book um, and discussing the book, um, I find that they have a um, grasp on uh, the plot and the, the setting and the characters and they've, they're making connections um, about the book, then I know that uh, they've understood what they're what they're reading, so and that's okay. That's fine with me. Um, I also picked up these books, more stories. Julian tells these are for my um, six year old. He loves these types of books, so um, we also picked up some extras of these. He loves reading books like this as well, so he's also doing that. This is one of the books that they're doing for um, co op. So this is this is quite. Um, <laughs> this is quite a book for them to read so what we've been doing with this since they are taking that literature course in co-op um, we've been doing the audio on YouTube so actually um, whenever it's time whenever they're assigned a chapter to read we I allow them to sit um, we sit together and we listen to it on audio on YouTube and um, we discuss what's happening and then they answer the comprehension questions that their co-op teacher gave them and that's pretty much how we deal with uh, Farmer Boy. <laughs> if they feel like they want to read along or uh, something of that um, of that nature they they can and they do and sometimes they'll actually pick up the book to uh, to read on their own so that's you know that's a good thing. We just finished uh, Stuart Little the kids loved Stuart Little. This is um, one of their required reading books. Um, I do have books that I require that they read. Uh, Ronald Dahl, uh, Royal Dahl will be one of those um, authors that they are required to read. This would be um, a required reading series that they're going to get through uh, before the end of the school year. And um, they also choose whatever books that they feel that they like to read as well in between. So... Um, that's always a lot of fun. Usually when we finish a book, I will um, give them a few days in between starting another book so that they can select books um, of their own choosing. 
and then we'll start another book so like I said we just finished Stuart Little and um, they had a few days off from a required reading and they were able to choose books that they liked and then we started um, Fa Fantastic Mr. Fox uh, maybe midweek um, probably Wednesday of this week and they're already almost halfway done with this book so like I said by next week we'll be done with this and then a couple of days uh, the following week they will have off again to choose books of you know um, that they like to read and then we'll move on to another required reading book so that's pretty much how um, I rotate that I don't want to overwhelm them with books that I want them to read I do want them to be able to do both so that's kind of how I handle that. So I thought I'd share that with you. And I um, have a few other books here that um, we're using with our unit study for science. We're studying dolphins, um, actually uh, marine animals. And the first marine animal is dolphins. They've, they've chosen to do dolphins because, of course, Dolphin Tale 2 came out today. We did go see that. Yay, that was a lot of fun. <clears throat> so we're going to dig deep into this next week. And so I have a few of um, these books from the library that um, you know I picked up to go along with that. Here's one of my favorite books. That I've had on my shelf for a while. Wyland was one of my favorite um, artists, and um, I used to visit him. Well, actually, I used to visit his studio in New York City when I lived there um, at the seaport, actually. And I purchased this book some time ago, probably about nine, ten years ago. I purchased this book from Amazon, and um, I love it. So I thought this would be fun for the kids to be able to uh, look at some of the pictures and probably try to um, draw or recreate some of uh, the photos or paintings that they see here. And that would just kind of um, go along with their art for, um, for our marine animal study. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.